Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about the latest updates on the Tesla Cybertruck and the new Tesla Model Y, Tesla's energy-powered Bitcoin mining farm, massive deliveries from Giga Shanghai as they struggle with shutdowns, and Tesla's newfound interest in mining lithium, which might surprise you. Why? Watch to the end to find out. Cyber Rodeo Event and Cybertruck Recently, Tesla held a Cyber Rodeo event at their Austin Giga factory, and this allowed the world to see the new Cybertruck prototype. This is a recent alpha build of the truck that is still in pre-production, but is updated with new features that were not in the original 2019 prototype. Yes, the famous 2019 prototype with the steel ball presentation. This is like a halfway point for the Cybertruck development. Previously, we'd only seen this new build from drone videos and some pics on Joe Rogan's Instagram account. So these are our first crisp clean views, and we can clearly see some of the new advances in development, such as the windshield wiper. Thanks to this low angle shot, we can now see that what had appeared to be one ultra gigantic windshield wiper is actually just two regular wipers mounted on one ultra gigantic arm mechanism. There were once rumors that Tesla was going to have laser beam windshield wipers or ultrasonic magnet blades, but it turns out that's not what we're getting at all. Kind of a bummer because laser windshield wipers would have been so dope and futuristic, wouldn't it? But that's not all spotted by Eagle Eye fans. People also spotted that the rear glass window of the Cybertruck cabin dropped down into the wall that separates the bed from the seats. And we have also unconfirmed reports that the mid-gate wall is able to fold down. So that would mean that is much like the old Chevy Avalanche pickups. The Cybertruck can have full unimpeded access between the cabin space and the bed, which is particularly useful for moving very long objects or for car camping scenarios. We actually did get a little preview of how the door mechanism works during Elon's presentation. We know that the Cybertruck has now had all handles removed, but what does that mean for door operation? Well, viewers at the Tesla convention in Canada were able to spot a moment while Elon was speaking when the door just automatically pops open just a little bit beside him. And then a few seconds later, it automatically pulls itself closed again. And then as Elon goes to leave, he touches on the truck's B pillar to pop the door manually and then pulls it open by grabbing the lip of the door frame. We also got a decently good look at the interior here, but it's obviously not a finished product. There is a Model S steering yoke in there with a big hole in the middle where the airbag should be and no plastic covers over the steering column. A big horizontal center display, but no screen on the driver's side. And to top that off, we got a video that shows quite nicely how the rear wheel steering function is working on the Cybertruck. It seems as though a little bit more control has been given to the rear wheel drive. This little bit of extra control is going to make the gigantic truck a lot more maneuverable in tight spaces like parking lots. The Model Y Mystery In regards to the new Texas-made Model Y, we are still eagerly awaiting some kind of confirmation about what is going on inside of these vehicles, but we do have some easter eggs. We know that there was an Austin-made Model Y on site at the party that was called the Standard Dual Motor Variant, and we know that all the vehicles made in Giga Texas so far have been equipped with 4680 cells. We also know that 30 new Model Ys were delivered the night of the Cyber Rodeo, but it looks like all of them went to Tesla employees only, who are staying tight-lipped about their new cars. But leaks of the source code from the Tesla website have surfaced that reveal a Model Y all-wheel drive with 279 miles of max range, top speed of 135 miles per hour, and 0 to 60 acceleration in 5 seconds flat. But unfortunately, no pricing information was found. Needless to say, it appears the Model Y is still shrouded in mystery. But we trust Elon Musk to reveal more information about the Model Y in the coming months. And you better believe that we will have the scoop ready to deliver to you when it does. Tesla's Bitcoin Mining Farm Tesla is getting back into the cryptocurrency game with a new Bitcoin mining project that will be powered by Tesla's solar panels and mega pack battery units. The project is a collaboration between Tesla and two blockchain startup businesses. One is Twitter founder Jack Dorsey digital payment company Block, formerly known as Square, and the other is called Blockstream, which makes a bunch of applications that support the Bitcoin network. The three companies are teaming up to build a Bitcoin mining farm in Texas. The renewable energy Bitcoin mine will feature 3.8 megawatt solar array paired with a 12 megawatt hour battery system, which would be four Tesla mega pack units. It was only about a year ago that Elon Musk famously threw his support behind Bitcoin and opened it up as a payment method on the Tesla website, allowing people to buy electric cars directly from the manufacturer with crypto. This caused the value of Bitcoin to spike straight to the moon, and this unsurprisingly caused excitement and uproar in the crypto world. 
However, a couple days later, Elon changed his mind and walked the whole thing back due to his concerns of an increase in fossil fuel utilization for the mining of Bitcoin. Now with this new partnership, it looks like Elon might be solving his own problem using Tesla energy and solar installations. We can assume that the idea is to start out small and then grow these operations over time if things go well. The first Bitcoin farm is reported to be 30 PETA hashes per second of mining power. The mining infrastructure is all being taken care of by Blockstream and the group is aiming to have everything up and running this year. Turmoil in Gigafactory Shanghai Tesla has managed to deliver over 65,000 vehicles produced at Gigafactory Shanghai in the month of March, which is an impressive feat considering that there are multiple days of factory shutdown over that period. This is double the number of vehicles they were able to deliver over the same period last year and a 16% increase in productivity over the month of February. Of course, the bad news here is that factory shutdowns have continued well into April, with the Chinese government desperately trying to clamp down on the spread of new COVID variants in the city. This would obviously have a negative effect on Giga Shanghai output, but could even have a ripple effect on Giga Berlin, where they rely on importing battery cells and supplies from Tesla China. At this point, operations at Giga Shanghai may have been down for two weeks, Although, there is a tentative reopening date set for sometime in April, and that's looking less likely to happen. So at this rate, Tesla is losing at least 2,000 cars worth of productivity for every day that the factory is down. And that's gonna add up fast. We can't be sure where things are headed from here, but it seems this matter will firmly be addressed as Elon Musk is set to give a press release soon. Elon's newfound interest in lithium. In a recent Twitter post, Elon Musk speculated that Tesla might have to actually get into mining and refining of lithium due to recent price increase to insane levels. If that sounds familiar, it's because Elon announced back at Battery Day in 2020 that Tesla has already purchased a 10,000 acre claim of lithium rich desert land in Nevada. At the time, Elon had said that Tesla had developed their own method for lithium extraction from clay material that would both be environmentally friendly and economical. Right now, the price of lithium has gone up by more than 400%. In his recent tweet, Elon said, quote, There is no sabotage of the element itself, as lithium is almost everywhere on Earth, but the pace of extraction slash refinement is slow. So it's hard to say if Elon is talking about mining lithium for Tesla's own supply, or if he's eyeing this booming market as a way to drive extra profit for the company by extracting and refining material and then sell it to other battery makers as well. If Tesla's production capacity is going to live up to the expectations that Elon set at his Giga Texas presentation, which is basically to rapidly scale Tesla up to the largest manufacturer on the planet Earth, then there's going to be a need for a crazy amount of lithium to make that happen.